Hi, it's Sam Hendrick from Bentley Systems again, here to talk about MicroStation Connect Edition. And we're gonna be doing the fourth video in the series. And this video, we're gonna talk about viewing your drawing. How do I zoom in? How do I zoom out? Things like that. How do I do a fit view? We'll also be talking about how many views can you have open and how can we arrange them? We'll also talk about levels. How do I turn levels on and how do I turn levels off? And then your plus one is going to be how can I turn a level off by just picking an element? So let's go ahead and get started. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how do I navigate around in my drawing and how do I turn levels on and off? The file we're gonna open up, it's called Viewing Your Design and Levels. When navigating in your drawing, there's two basic ways to do it. One is from your mouse, which is the most convenient way in my opinion, and second is by using icons. These icons located along the view border, in my case, along the top. First, we're going to explore how do I navigate using my mouse. Now, the most obvious way to zoom in and zoom out, most people know this, on your mouse, scroll the wheel. So if I scroll the wheel away from me, I zoom in. If I scroll the wheel towards me, I zoom out. It's a pretty straightforward method. What a lot of people don't recognize is that if you hold that wheel button down, it is a button, that is pan. And if I wanted to pan around more, I could hold the wheel down, pan, release, hold the wheel down, pan more if I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and pan this back in here. Now, the other way to do this would be from the view controls up here, which would be zoom in. I have zoom out, which are just like they sound. We also have window area and we have fit view. The one we're going to look at next is window area. So I'm going to select this icon. I get crosshairs that fill my screen, and on the tool settings window, it says window area. This method allows me to basically draw a rectangle around the area of interest, and I will zoom in onto that area. So I'm gonna say I wanna look at this property right here. So I'm gonna go up and to the left in this case. I'm gonna left click, drag my cursor down. You see a box, a shaded box appear. That box, when I do the second left click, is going to determine what I'm gonna see in this view. Left click. That's what I see. Now, if I want to see what did the view look like previously, we have up on the top, we have view previous, and we also have view next. So I'm going to click view previous, and this shows me what the view looked like prior to me doing a window area. And this works for panning and rotating and zooming in and zooming out also. And the other tool we have is called fit view. I'm going to click on this, activating the fit view tool. And when I do that, you're going to notice I'm in the fit view tool. The files option is currently set to all. And the left side, that's my active file. Up into the right, that border is a reference file. And down below, obviously, we have a raster file as it is labeled that way. Now, I had it set to fit all, so it fit everything. The other options were just to fit the active, the reference, or the raster. So if I chose, let's say, reference, and then I left click in the view, it only fit the reference file. If I go and click raster and I data, left click in the view, it fits the raster file. I'm gonna set this back to all, left click, I fit all. Now I'm gonna zoom back in on my drawing here. Now setting this option, you need to be careful because if you do change this from something other than all or active file, it remembers that when you leave this file and go to another. Let me illustrate. I'm gonna choose raster and I'm going to leave this file. I'm going to open up a different file. So I'm going to come up here to File Open. The other file in my folder, Intersection Design, I'm going to open that file by double-clicking. I'm going to go to my Fit View tool right up here. It did not fit automatically, and the reason why was because it, the Files option was set to Raster. I don't have a raster, so it didn't fit anything. If I change this to All, and then I left click in the view, you can see it will fit that. You just need to pay attention to the tool settings window when you're using the fit view. Now I'm gonna return back to the file I was in before by in the lower left corner, we have a little icon down here, the green circle with the white arrow, which is model previous. This takes me back to the file I was in before, closing the other one. 
Now, the other thing we're going to be looking at are views in MicroStation. Right now, I have only one view open. On the bottom left part of our screen, we have buttons one through eight. These are the number of views that we can have open at one time. I'm going to open up view two, and you can see it appears there. I'm going to open up views three and four and you can see they open. Now, they are overlapping each other. If I wanted to tile them to see all four at once, I would need to go to my View tab up top, and under the Window Group, I would go to Tile, and this would tile all my views. Now, you can see in View number two, it's showing just the reference file. If I use my wheel on my mouse, I can zoom out, and I can see the whole drawing, and the same is true of the other two views. So this way, you can see more of your drawing. It's all looking at the same thing. Now, I'm going to close out two of these views. I'm going to illustrate how all these views are active at one time. Now, I'm going to go and zoom in on the reference file, which is just a border. And in my other view, where I'm seeing my properties, I'm going to move over here, and I'm going to copy this boundary right here. So I'm going to press and hold the right button on it, I get the context menu, I'm going to select copy, I pick a point to copy from, and now I'm just going to drag my mouse into this view, and you can see this view is active as well as the other one. I can just place the property building outline just by doing a data, and then a reset, and I've placed it in the file. So I'm going to go ahead and do an undo. Now, there are going to be times when you're going to want to have maybe three views open, and tiling may not get what you would expect. It'll tile three verticals. So I'm going to open up view number three. And let's say that I had this view over here. And I wanted to set it up like this. And I want to maximize my screen. What I don't want is to have any gaps between my views, because that's just wasted space. So I'm still in the View tab. We have an icon here under Window. It's called Arrange. What I want to do is approximately arrange my views the way I want to, and then click Arrange. This will tighten them all up for me. Now, this is a design file setting, so if I save my settings, when I or anybody else opens the file up, this is what they'll see. So I'm going to close views three and four, and I'm going to maximize this view, and I'm going to pan and zoom out. Because the next thing we're going to talk about are levels in MicroStation. To get to my level display, where I can turn levels on and off, you can go to the Home tab up top. And under the Primary group, you're going to see Level Display right here. Now, another shortcut to be able to get to that is if I hit my Space Bar, tapping that on my keyboard, I'll get the pop-up menu. And here is Primary right here. If I select Primary, I get the same options right there at my cursor. I'm going to open up Level Display from here. This will open my level display dialog. Now, up top, you see the files that you have attached, your active file and a reference file. And then below this, I'll see the levels. And in my case, what I've done is I've sorted my levels. I've sorted them by name, which would make them numeric alpha ascending order. And then I sorted to have the used ones up top. And how I did this was I went to the header of the column and I left click. And you can see now I've sorted it and I'm going to click it again, and you can see I've reversed the order. I'm going to sort this so that it's numeric alpha ascending order. Then I'll sort my used, and then all the used levels come to the top, and my names are in numeric alpha ascending order. So at this point, you can see the levels that I'm using. If it's got a green background, that means that it's my active level. If it has a blue background, that means the level is turned on. So if I click on this property data, you can see it turns off that level. To turn it back on, I click again. So one click to turn off, one click to turn back on. If you want to make a level the active level, you can just double click. So if I went down to Survey Existing Property, double click, you can see it changes to a teal background. That is now my active level. To turn off a level by picking an element, this is your plus one. So if I have my cursor in this list box, if this dialog is open and I right click, you're going to see a pop-up menu appear. On the pop-up menu, about three quarters of the way down, you're going to see off by element. I'm going to select this option. You can see the tool that I'm in is called change level and the level option is set to 
display off. Now, if I click on an element on the screen, just left click or data on the element, MicroStation knows that element and it knows what level it's on. It will turn that level off for me. So this grass area, I'm just going to pick. You can see it turn that level off. Now, if I have the level display open, you can see common area was turned off. Now I can continue to just turn off by picking the elements. And if those elements were in a reference file, this would work the same. Now I'm going to turn these all on by right clicking in the list box, all on. I'm going to close the level display and I'm going to return back to my element selection because I want to show you how I can get to this tool, change level quickly. I'm going to change, go to element selection. Doesn't matter what tool I'm in. I'm going to on my mouse, press and hold the right button down. This brings up the context menu and there is level off. That is the same tool. So if I choose that, I can then now pick an element and I can turn that level off if I want to. Now I just picked this element and it didn't turn it off. That's because that's my active level. You can't turn off the display of your active level. So now if I turn off this, now I've turned off some levels. I may want to see those. I may not have wanted to turn that level off. How do I know what level I turned off? I just want to see the previous view. So I can do shift right click. And in addition to all these other tools, I have view previous and view next. So I can click view previous. Again, do it another one, shift right click, view previous, and I've turned the levels back on. That's your plus one. So hopefully you found this instructive and we'll see you in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.